Okie dokie. So I promised y'all day dos of this like van build conversion. Um, my friend Trent is so awesome. He's already outside working on my van. I woke up a little late. So I am making coffee. I am about to head out there and show what he's doing. He's actually installing a new radiator and a water pump for me because I can't do that. I can. So blessed up, Trent. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, super excited to show y'all what's going on in the band bam today. But now I'm laying down Reflectix in the, uh, like on the passenger side as well as on the driver's side. And I am going to lay down like a little piece of like plywood that I messed up and I showed in the video, the first video. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to show this little like, um, this foot cushion that I bought at Home Depot. So underneath the driver's seat and the passenger seat instead of it being like really hard wood. It's going to be super cushiony because when you're gonna be driving around the country, you need a little bit of good uh, good footing, you know? You need that grounding. So, um. <laughs> Okie dokie. So this is the part of the floor that I just did up front. So after I laid the Reflectix down, I basically put a couple of two by fours underneath here to give it a little bit of elevation to match the um, floor that we already had down. After that, I put insulation on the in-between because if not, it was going to be very, um, it wasn't going to be sturdy. So after I put the insulation in between the, p the two by fours, I put down this piece of plywood and everything was used, um, or everything is being held down by liquid nails. And then I got this like really cushiony, um, I don't know, floor mat. So after I put down the two by fours on top of the Reflectix, the piece of plywood, which was about, um, I think two by two, it was a square. I put down this lovely little mat, this very cushiony mat that I found in the flooring section of Home Depot. And everything was put down with the liquid nails. This one like exploded actually, so it looks crazy. Um, and it's starting to rain. So this is all that we've got for the day, but it's starting to look really, really good in here. Um, I'm excited. Because your radiator has a built-in transmission cooler. Uh -huh. But when we pull them, they're gonna leak a little bit. So I'm gonna wrap a rag around them with some tape. I mean, it's gonna leak some. There's no really good That thing. made me nervous. I thought that was blood. <laughs> I was like, no fucking way, dude. Nah, transmission fluid is red. Okay. Alrighty, so when Trent and I were finishing or attempting to finish the radiator and the water pump and such, there was a little 
a little situation. Um, it's a super old van. It's a 1997. So the screws and a lot of the mechanical pieces are really rusty. Um, and one of the screws, <laughs> one of the screws broke off in the water pump. <sighs> My friend Robert is coming over today to kind of drill something into my water pump to get the new um, seal to stay in. Um, and then Trent's going to come back over and put the radiator in and then everything should be all good. But I just wanted to make sure that with um, the new gasket that there was going to be enough pressure so that there wouldn't be a leak because no one wants a leaky radiator. I had that problem already, and I think it literally took my dad and I like five days to fix it. So not a problem that I wanna have. But other than that, I'm going to make another video because this is like a 19 part thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and just seeing a little bit of what's under the hood versus what's just going on in the trunk. <laughs> Stay tuned for another video. If you liked this one, be sure to subscribe, like, share it with your friends again, and stay tuned for my lovely, lovely van journey. Until next time, peace.